Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle, and in this video, I am going to share with you um, a new series that I have planned for the month of March. I am doing, I'm calling this series Sleuth by Type. As I was researching video ideas for the month of March, I realized that there are there are some really specific types of sleuths out there. And I wanted to look at, you know, kind of how many books there are, what was the variety of mysteries within those different types. So I'm going to start with titled detectives. Now, there are actually a lot of mysteries that have a titled detective as the sleuth. So I had to narrow it down to just a few, <laughs> otherwise this video would be very long. Um, but to start, uh, I'm going to talk about Lord Peter Whimsey, which is a series written by Dorothy L. Sayers. The very first Lord Peter Whimsey was Whose Body, and it was written in 1923. There are 15 books in this series, Lord Peter Whimsey is the second son of a duke, and he is an amateur sleuth. So to kick off this little look at titled detectives, we have an amateur sleuth from the golden age of detective fiction. Next up, we have Detective Inspector Lindley by Elizabeth George. The very first book in this series is A Great Deliverance, written in 1988. This is the 21st in the series, and Lindley is the eighth Earl of Asherton. Um, and that is really high up there <laughs> in the, uh, um, you know, in the aristocratic classes. What's fascinating about this is Lord Peter Whimsey is a titled amateur sleuth from the Golden Age. Lindley is a titled detective in the police department during, uh, you know, what do I want to say? The modern age, our, our contemporary uh, time. She's still writing this series. And so he's an Earl, but he has chosen to become a police officer and to work for a living. So I find that, I find that really interesting. So he is a titled detective but he is um, a detective inspector for Scotland Yard. Next up, we have Albert Edward, the Prince of Wales. This is a series by Peter Lovesy. The first one in the series is Birdie and the Tin Man from 1987. There's only three in this series, and um, Albert Edward is the Prince of Wales. He is the son of of Queen Victoria. So we are getting very high up <laughs> in the, the ruling classes, as it were, uh, with the Prince of Wales as an amateur sleuth. Um, he, of course, uh, is constrained by his position. He could never be paid to investigate. So we are back to a titled detective being an amateur uh, sleuth. Um, this series is from the 80s. And uh, um, yeah, I, I haven't read this series, but this is on my pile of possibilities for March Mystery Madness. Then we are going as high as we can with Her Majesty the Queen. This is a series by S.J. Bennett. The Windsor Knot is the first in the series from 2020. There is so far three in the series and a fourth one is planned. And the amateur sleuth is the queen herself, Elizabeth II. Um, he, uh, the author has put this series in 2016 when the queen is um, 90 years old. Uh, and I love this series. I really, really like how the queen is portrayed um, and how she understands her duty and her role and therefore gets other people to do the legwork and the bulk of the investigation. But she is very intelligent, very clever, and um, 
solves these mysteries while allowing other people to get the credit for it. <laughs> okay, uh, since we're talking about Queen Elizabeths, let's talk about the first Queen Elizabeth with the Elizabeth I series by Karen Harper. The first in the series is The Poison Garden from 1999. There are nine books in this series and Queen Elizabeth I, again, is a sleuth and she gathers together a group that she trusts and she calls them her privy plot council. So the kings and queens had a privy council which were, were advisors. Uh, this small group is a privy plot council, the, the people that she uses to help her investigate um, when deaths occur in her circle, in her palaces, etc. This is another great historical mystery series. Okay, then we have Lady Emily, and this is a series written by Tasha Alexander. The first book in the series is And Only to Deceive from 2005. There are 17 books in the series, and as far as I know, they are still ongoing. Lady Emily married a Viscount, which gave her the title of Lady. Um, so she is a titled detective and um, definitely an amateur sleuth. Um, and yeah, this is another great series set in the Victorian time period. So um, we have so far, we have had three historical mysteries, um, two contemporary mysteries one with a detective from Scotland Yard and one with an amateur sleuth, and one golden age mystery with an amateur sleuth. So I find the mixture very interesting. Next up, we have Daisy Dalrymple. The series is written by Carola Dunn. The first book in the series is Death at Wentwater Court from 1994. There are 23 in the series. They're set in the 1920s. And the Honorable Daisy Dalrymple is the daughter of a duke, I think. I, I wasn't able to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure, and that's why she's called um, the Honorable Daisy Dalrymple. What's interesting in this case, so she is definitely a titled detective. She's an amateur sleuth. This is another historical mystery. She ends up marrying an inspector from Scotland Yard. So you end up with a pairing of a titled detective amateur sleuth with a inspector from Scotland Yard, uh, and they make a great team. Okay, and then we have the Royal Spinus series by Reese Bowen. The first book is her Royal Spinus from 2007. There are 16 in the series, and as far as I know, it is ongoing. Lady Georgiana Rennick is our main character, our amateur sleuth, and she is the daughter of a duke. Her brother is the current duke, and she is 34th in line to the throne. So she is definitely a titled detective, um, and this series is this series is really fun. Very lighthearted, very funny, set in the 30s. So another historical mystery. Okay, and then we have a series that I've just recently discovered. We have Blotto, the Honorable Devereux Lymanster, and his sister Twinks. Her name is actually Lady Honoria. And they are the son and daughter of a duke. The first book in the series is Blotto, Twinks, and the Ex-King's Daughter from 2009. There are currently 12 in the series. They're set in the 1920s at, with a sibling pair of amateur sleuths. Very fun. Utterly ridiculous, but very fun. Okay, and then we have Lady Lupin by Joan Coggins. Who Killed the Curate is the first in the series from 1944. So we're back to a golden age titled detective. There are four in the series, and Lady Lupin is the daughter of an earl, and she ends up marrying a vicar. <laughs> and so she, she investigates in a small village, 
um, and this is a wonderful series as well. Okay, continuing with the Golden Age books, this is Sir Henry Maryville. The books are written by Carter Dixon. The first book in the series is The Plague Court Murders from 1934. There are 22 in the series. Sir Henry Maryville is the holder of one of the oldest baronetcies in England. He is a physician, a barrister, and head of military intelligence for the war office. Wow. <laughs> so there you have a titled detective, again, from the golden age of mysteries. Okay, we have, I think my favorite titled detective is Sebastian St. Cyr. This series is written by C.S. Harris. What Angels Fear is the first book in the series. There are 18 in the series and it is ongoing. Please let it be ongoing. <laughs> Sebastian St. Cyr is the Viscount Devlin. He is the son of an Earl and he is an amateur sleuth. So this is a historical mystery with an amateur sleuth titled Detective. We have Lady Elizabeth Hartley Compton. The series is written by Kate Kingsbury. The first book in the series is A Bicycle Built for Murder from 2001. There are nine books in this series and Lady Elizabeth is the daughter of an Earl. And she, her parents were killed in the Blitz. This is a series that is set during World War II in a village in England. Her parents were killed in the Blitz and she has no other uh, siblings. And so she kind of has to take over as the leader, the, the lady of the manor, um, and kind of lead the village through, um, through the war. And so this is kind of, I would say it's a cozy mystery series, um, but it is historical. And uh, um, yeah, so we're getting this interesting combination of a cozy historical mystery with a titled detective. Okay, and then we have Gideon St. Mars by Patricia Wynn. The Birth of Blue Satan from 2001 is the first book in the series. There are seven in total. And the Viscount, Gideon St. Mars is a Viscount, um, which is the son of an Earl. He's the son of an Earl. But he becomes a highwayman um, because... Uh, he has to kind of go on the run. <laughs> um, and these are set in Georgian England. So this is another historical mystery with a titled detective, Amateur Sleuth. And then last but not least, we have Lady Rose from the series by Marion Chesney, who is also known as M.C. Beaton. The first book in this series is Snobbery with Violence from 2003. There are four books in this series and Lady Rose is the daughter of an Earl. This is set in the Edwardian time period. So another historical mystery with an amateur sleuth titled Detective. So I found um, titled detectives from the golden age of detective fiction. I found them um, in contemporary works as amateur sleuths, but also as um, detectives for Scotland Yard or kind of paid detectives. I found historical mysteries from a variety of eras with titled amateur sleuths. So yeah, it was an interesting look at what's out there for um, amateur sleuths that are, sorry, for detectives that are titled. Have you read any of these books? I would love to chat with you about them in the comment section down below. And can you recommend a book to me that has a titled detective? Um, because I do enjoy that type of detective. And as you can see, there's a good variety of the type of books that might have a titled detective. So if you know of one that you've read that you've enjoyed, uh, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And I will see you for another video soon.